Today we're going to use the Shure MV88 Plus to record directly into Pro Tools. First connect your USB cable and headphones into the microphone, and then connect your cable into the laptop. Launch Pro Tools and then immediately hold down your N key. Once the playback engine dialog box appears, choose the MV88 Plus as the playback engine, and then click on OK. After Pro Tools loads, you can either start a new project or open an existing one. Now we're going to create a new track to record our narration into. Under the I.O. tab, we can choose an input. Once you click on input under interface, you can choose either left or right. As you should have the MV88 set up to record mono, it doesn't matter which side you pick, either will do. Now click on record enable and mute. We're muting the track while we're recording so we don't hear the signal twice. When you, when you hear, hear the, the signal, signal twice, twice, it can, can double, double up and that doubled up signal can sound a little weird just like this. This is happening because we're monitoring through the microphone itself and also through Pro Tools. So to prevent this, make sure your track is muted while you're recording. To start recording, click on the record button located in the top right hand corner of Pro Tools in the transport. Once you've clicked on record, click on play. Now you're recording. This is an example of me talking into the MV88 Plus microphone and recording directly into Pro Tools. To stop recording, either click on the stop button next to the play button in the transport or hit your spacebar. Then you can unarm the recording function of the track and unmute the track. And now when you hit play, you should be able to hear the recording that you just made. Into the MV88 Plus microphone and recording directly into Pro Tools. To revert Pro Tools back to your previous settings of either headphone or speaker output, just click on Setup, click on Playback Engine, choose the new playback engine that you'd like to use. Pro Tools is going to notify you that it needs to save and restart to use the new engine. Choose Yes, and then click on OK. Your project will save and reload. You'll immediately be prompted with something called Session Notes, asking if you want to save a record of any of these changes. You can just click on No. Now when you play back your project, it'll play through whatever audio engine you just picked. This is an example of me talking into the MV88 Plus microphone and recording directly into Pro Tools. And that's how you use the Shure MV88 Plus with Pro Tools.